All right, everyone, welcome back to Structure Free Learning. And in this video, I am going to explain to you the moment distribution method. But the reality is that this method is only as good as how much you practice it. And it, you will find that it is a beautiful, beautiful technique to calculate internal moments and, and then ultimately internal loading and then shear moment diagrams for beam structures and even frames that you need to analyze by hand. So to get started, this technique was developed by this guy named Hardy Cross, who was a structural engineer back in the early 1930s, I think 1932. Now the idea behind the technique is that the first thing that you do if you're given a beam structure is to fix all the joints. A lot of times people call this the lock, locking it. And when you lock the joints, you calculate the fixed end moments at each member. So let me throw up a, a beam here or a structure. Just take something relatively simple for now. All right, so hopefully you know by now that this is statically indeterminate. And let's give it, this thing a load. Let's say, let's give it a load P here and a distributed load on this side. And you may have solved a problem like this using slope deflection equations. It's even easier, if you can believe, using the moment distribution method. And so here, let me call this joint A, B, and C. And the idea here is that you we lock each of these joints. So here, I'm going to, bam, lock, lock, so that it does not rotate. So that's like step one. I, I've locked the joint so it doesn't rotate. And what I do is calculate the internal fixed end moment. So here, I would have like member A, B with this load P. And since both ends are fixed, I would have this moment here and this moment here, which I can calculate from charts. But here, I'm just going to call this like MAB and MBA. And the same thing with member BC, using whatever basic charts are available that have pre-calculated uh, fixed end moments, we could calculate this moment right here. So these would all, again, be numbers. This would be like MBC, and I'll call this MCB. Great, fair enough, okay? And that's that's the lock. And then Hardy Cross, he said, he said, hey, let me now, after I lock each joint, let me look at the joints in particular. Let me look at the moments on the joints and make sure I provide equilibrium or balance. And so here, joint A is fixed, so really it doesn't need a balancing one. This thing isn't moving at all. Joint B, however, and joint C is also fixed, so it's not moving at all either. But joint B, however, if I look at joint B, and I have you know, equal and opposite moment, MBC being applied here, and MBA. And usually MBA is not equal to MBC, so this thing is not in equilibrium. And so what I may need, and here let's just say that one moment is bigger than the other. Who knows? Who cares? right? But there's what I'm going to do as the engineer is that I'm going to release this joint now. I'm unlocking it, and I'm going to provide a moment here, this M bow this balancing moment. This M balancing provides equilibrium at each of these joints, or at this joint B here. Okay, and so this M balance, bam, there it is. Okay, and this is referred to as the unlocking because really what you're doing is letting it rotate a little bit, right, or rotating it a little bit by providing this M balance by unlocking it. Now, the people refer to this as the unlock. I like to call it the pop. So that for me, this technique is actually called a lock and pop. And you know, if you're a breaker from the 80s, chicka chicka, this is all up your alley. So now you've introduced this moment to the joint, but you've got to distribute it to the members. And so here for the next step is to distribute this balancing moment to the members and hence the moment distribution method. In this distribution, how much you distribute to each of these depends on the stiffness of each of the members and this total stiffness of the joint. And we'll calculate this. There's this thing called the distribution factor, which is just a ratio of the stiffness of the member to the total stiffness of the joint. But don't worry about that now. We're, we'll take care of that later. So essentially what's happening is this M balance is being applied or introduced to this these MBAs, if you will. So there's going to be a portion that's going to go here. Let's say this, I'll call this M prime MBA. This is that balancing moment, this fraction of the balancing moment. And then here there will be M 
prime BC. So this is that fraction or the distributed balancing moment that gets over there. And then you have to ensure equilibrium of each of the members. And so that requires what's called a carryover. And this usually has what's called the carryover factor or a, a portion of the distributed moment that gets carried over to the other side of the member. So here, you know, there's MBA prime, a portion of it will get carried over to the other side. So here I'll call this MBA or MAB double prime. And this is the moment that's carried over. And this MBC uh, prime is carried over here. And this becomes M. BC double prime or MCB double prime. This is that carryover moment. So essentially, once you carry this over, you're locking again. This is kind of a, a second lock. Lock. After you carry over, apply a balancing moment, and then you'll have the unlock or the pop when you distribute. All right. So hopefully that gives you an idea, an overview of how this approach works. So just to recap, first thing we do, fix all the joints, lock it, and calculate the fixed end moments, okay? And we only have to do that once. Then you pop all the joints, figure out what that balancing moment and is distributed to all the members, right? So here, joint equilibrium for that balancing moment, then you distribute it to the members, and then you, because you need equilibrium of each of the members, you have a carryover factor that takes that distributed moment to the other side, and then lock. And then you go back and figure out what that balancing moment is, pop, and then lock and pop, lock and pop. Chicka, chicka, chicka. You call it the Hardy Cross method, you call it the moment distribution method, blah, 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 blah. Call it what you want. Just make it work. See ya.